So should you be hunting turkeys with three and a half inch shells? Does it even matter? Instead of swapping opinions on the question, I brought data. Hey, I'm George, back with the New Hunter's Guide, the YouTube channel and podcast, helping new hunters get started and bringing new insights to all hunters. And today, I want to tackle the question, should you be hunting turkeys with three and a half inch shells? It's a big question. There's a lot of debate. I actually did a video on this subject, focusing on waterfowl hunting more so, but turkey hunting is a little bit different. It is not the same thing. The factors are not the same. So I want to zero in on that. Now, some people say, well, why? Why does it matter? Well, it does matter. It matters quite a bit as the data is about to show you. But now when I ask people, you know, why do you hunt turkeys with three and a half inch shells? Usually the answer I get is something like, well, cause they don't make four inch shells. <laughs> you just got to tough it up because more is more. The more pellets you throw down range, the more turkeys you are killing. Well, you know, maybe sometimes that is true, but that is not always true. In fact, I've recently been doing some testing, which I've done some videos on, where I shot shells of different shot charges, same brand, same velocity, same everything, but one in three eighths ounce, one and a half ounce, one in five eighths ounce. And as I added more shot, or as the manufacturer in this case, added more shot, I was not getting more pellets in the circle. I was throwing more total pellets down range, but I was not putting more total pellets on the bird. I was getting a lower percentage of pellets on paper as I went up. And the difference between the lowest and the highest was almost the same number of pellets on the paper, but just more pellets thrown down range. And does that actually help us? What does that do? Now that's not always the case. Different loads, different guns, different chokes do change the game. So you may have a shell that has more shot in it and you may get more pellets in a 10 inch circle where you're shooting for that turkey. It may indeed give you more, but don't just assume that more is better or that more is more on the target. You need to pattern test. A two and three quarter ounce shell might put more pellets in a 10 inch circle out of your gun and choke than a three and a half inch shell. So you need to think about this. You need to do some research. You need to do some testing. And now let's look at some of the data, some of the other factors, things that almost nobody talks about. I looked at three different shells, three different levels, three different types of turkey loads. And I pulled data for three inch and three and a half inch shells. Number one, let's look at the super famous Winchester Longbeard XR number five. And of course, I only picked the ones that had the same velocity so we could have an apples to apples comparison. Let's check out this data. So right here, you can see, yep, you do have more ounces of shot in the three and a half inch shell. You do have more pellets, 318 versus 361. However, you also have more cost and you have a lot more recoil. So look at the totals here. The three and a half inch shells give you 12% more pellets. That is more, that is significant, but they give you 25% more recoil. That is how much more force is needed to push those pellets down range at that same velocity. And you've got 23% more cost. So your cost and recoil increase by twice as much as your increase in pellets. Now, is that enough more pellets to make a difference? You're looking at 40 some extra pellets going down range. That is not 40 more pellets in a 10 inch circle. That's just leaving the gun. So you could have 12% more pellets in a 10 inch circle, maybe, although you may not have 12, you may have the same number. You'd need to test and find out, but you will always have that 25% more recoil and that 23% more cost. Let's look at another shell. Here I've got your Winchester Premier Magnum Turkey number five. Look at this data. Again, yes, more ounces of shot. Yes, more pellets. Looks like 43 more pellets in the three and a half inch. But also again, more cost per shell 
and again, significantly more recoil. So here we've got 14% more pellets in a three and a half inch shell, but 27% more recoil and 25% more cost. So you are gaining more pellets, but you're also costing a lot more than what you're gaining and your recoil is hitting a lot harder. Now guys, does that extra recoil really matter? Does it make a difference? It does. It really can. Now for some people, depending on how big you are, depending on how big your bone structure is, depending on how much your upper body weighs, depending on the shotgun that you're using and how it manages recoil and your recoil pad and how much clothing you're wearing, it may not make a big difference for you, but it may also make a massive difference for you. You should test it before you decide this is the load I'm going to adopt to hunt with because that extra recoil can make a big difference in getting a follow-up shot, but what it can do worse is cause you to develop a flinch reflex so that you actually flinch before you pull the trigger, which can hurt your accuracy, which can hurt your ability to take turkeys. It is not as big of a deal shooting turkeys on ground with open sights at close range with a shotgun as it might be with a rifle, but it can still be significant and it can straight up hurt. But now before we look at the data and see what happens with TSS, let me let you guys know nobody is sponsoring this video. None of these ammo companies even know that this is being made, but I'd ask you to please support the channel by hitting the thumbs up button. Every time you click that like button, you're helping these videos reach more people. And if you like videos like this, as well as field tests, reviews, kicking the tires on assumptions, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well. Now let's take a look at your federal premium TSS number nines. Check out this data right here. So you do gain more ounces of shot. You do gain gain more pellets and it's significant number of pellets with the TSS because the, the shot is smaller. So you have more of those pellets. You also have significant gain in ounces of shot as well. So almost 200 more pellets. Your cost per shell also goes up significantly, but your recoil jumps massively guys, just astronomical increase in recoil here. Now you're looking at 29% more pellets as well as 50 57% more recoil. That is a lot more. That is extreme recoil increase as well as 23% increase in cost. Now I will give the TSS this. You do have a lower increase in cost than you do get in additional pellets. So for me, that one feels a little bit more fair than the other ones, but wow, does it come with a price with a punch in the shoulder. 57% more recoil. That is a ton of recoil, guys. And you really need to think about that and you need to test shooting those. And if you're, if you're a good shooter, if you're practiced, if you're disciplined, you can keep yourself from developing a flinch reflex, but it can make it really hard to get a follow-up shot on birds. All right, and I've known guys that have shot things that are this heavy and heavier, and they're just sort of dazed. Muzzle blast, the noise, their gun moves so far with the shot and they've told me they don't even know if they hit the turkey sometimes. They don't know if it's on the ground or if it's running away. So if you don't nail it on that first shot, you can be significantly hampered on the second shot. But of course, people that are bigger, have larger structure, bigger bones, you can manage that a little bit more just due to the math, which I won't get into. But let's look at the summary chart of all of these different loads sort of summarized together to give us a total picture. Check this out right here. On average, three and a half inch shells are giving you 18% more pellets, 36% more recoil, and 24% more cost. All right, so you're paying more than you're getting but you're also hurting more from that extra recoil. And guys, I can tell you from personal experience, none of those three inch shells are soft on the shoulder either. None of them are. I've done a lot of reviews, a lot of test videos, more coming this season, lots of them in the past. 
You can look at them. Ballistics gel testing, pattern testing. I compared eight different turkey loads in one video, but every single time you are feeling that shot. And the more you shoot, the more it's going to hurt. Now it's true. You don't usually shoot a whole lot of rounds in the woods with turkey load. So if you shoot two or three shots in one day, it's not going to beat you up. But like I said, the movement of the gun can make follow-up shots really hard. So you got to nail it on the first one if you're going to use these heavier loads. So should you use three and a half inch shells? That's for you to decide. I hope this data helps you make some educated decisions, but ultimately test anything you plan to use. If you want to upgrade to three and a half inch shells, test them against the three inch shells. See if you are getting actual better performance in a 10 inch circle on your target and that you're not just paying for pellets that aren't doing anything and suffering that extra recoil for no reason. But I think that many of the modern turkey loads that we have, like the Winchester Longbeard and many of the TSS ones give you so much performance in a three inch shell, you have no need for more. But what you guys need to do next is click on this video right here where I tested Winchester Longbeard XR against Boss's Turkey Tom TSS load and check out this video right here where I tested eight different turkey loads head to head on the same day. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you. Till next time, God bless you and go get them in the woods.